The three economic questions. In every economic system, society or government or some other action has to be able to answer and must decide what to produce, how to produce it, and for whom to produce. So we call these the three basic economic questions because it's what every society, every group of people has to decide upon. Now depending on the economic system, if this were a market system, then the markets are what decide what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. In a command-style economy, then it's the government or governmental agency that's going to make the decision on all of these questions. And going along with the big trade-off, what we say is, is that government, in general, has kind of like two ends of the spectrum to go towards. Government actions can make the markets more efficient by kind of, for the most part, stepping away, or it can step in and be more integral in deciding the level of equity or fairness or equality in the economic system. So when deciding what to produce, society has to figure out what scarce resource is going to be used in the production of what. And again, it's, it's on that big trade-off of do we want what to produce to be more efficient or more equitable. So it's presented graphically in a production possibility curve or production possibility frontier, and you'll learn about that a little bit later. So the idea is, if I have some chickens, what am I going to produce? Am I going to make chicken meat, or am I going to allow them to produce eggs? If I have a cow, am I going to use that to produce milk or cheese? If I'm a phone manufacturer or technology company, I'm deciding, should I make more phones or more tablets? And in general, as society, we might say, well, do we want to produce more capital goods so we can produce more in the future, or more consumer goods so that makes consumers happier today? Once again... Society has to figure out how to produce things. So what tools and capital will be used in the production of these goods? Are we to use the latest technology or revert to older methods? Do we want to use some greener forms of production or more dirty? Do we care about the environment and to what extent? You know, how much is it going to cost us extra to produce in greener or using greener means of production? And then lastly, how are we going to decide for whom to produce? Who's going to get the goods that society produces. How do we decide? Do we use prices in the market system and allowing supply and demand to figure out who gets what? Are we going to use a rationing method so people can only have a few of each? Or are we going to use a lottery system in terms of who's going to get the goods that we've produced? As well as maybe the decision of are we going to consume it domestically and allow Americans to produ or consume all of it? Or are we going to export some to foreign countries? And in each society we have to decide on those actions of for whom to produce.